time to open the World News Now inbox where you ask us just about anything and we'll try to give you our best answer. And we've got some interesting questions mm. from you this week, so we're going to get right to it. All right, Mark has this question for you, Diana. He asks, I want to know which football team Diana's going to cheat for this year. It's going to be the Saints, and here's why. Okay. I am a New Yorker, live yep. in New Jersey. Ha! Look at me. Check it out. Because Hot when they, I'm, I'm always about the underdog, and they had a wonderful come-from-behind story in 2009-2010 mm -hmm. season, and then they won, and they brought it together for their their town, and, and it was just wonderful. And that was the same year that I had gone to New Orleans for so the first time. So you fell in love with them. I fell in love with them. Mets for baseball, Bulls for basketball, Saints for football. I'm all over the map. Don't ask me about hockey. I don't watch it. All right. How about you? Giants fan, Mets fan, and basketball Knicks. Oh, such a New Yorker. All right. Our next question comes from Rebecca. Hey, hey, there I am again. This one's always a favorite, but John and I haven't had a chance to answer it before. Mm -hmm. She wants to know, how do you manage life-informing insomniacs at such hours? Where does sleep, leisure time, doctor's appointments, and being normal fit in, John? Tough one, um, and it's still in transition for me, but you take the sleep where you can get it. Some days you feel tired, you go right home, you try to get like four hours, maybe you get two before you wake up at the end mm -hmm. of the day. Errands are a cinch because you have all the daytime hours, so errands are a no-brainer on this shift. That's sleep, true. I take it wherever I can get it, and it's never in a nice long eight-hour chunk. It's mm. two here, four here. That's tough, yeah. I go home, go straight to bed, because Devin stays with my mother-in-law, who is staying with us. Hello, oh, yeah. Grandma. You the, there you go. Hi, Grandma. I know, and it's then I, I wake up, and I have all day long, and then I take a quick nap right before I come in. That's and I'm more refreshed. I like that one. All right. All right. This is a good one. I like this question for Diana right now. Mark wants to know, Diana, if Sports Illustrated asked you, would you pose in the swimsuit issue? Yes, but not because of the money or because I want to see myself in a swimsuit. Then I don't why? want to, I don't want to see that ever then again. Why? Because they go to exotic locations. Ah. Oh my God. Mm, yeah. That is not my I body, like people, although I probably shouldn't admit that. All right, now it's time for our rapid fire segment where we get to you get to hear your questions asked by the commission. And we just gotta fire one. Sorry, Jack. Okay. All right, come on, Jack. Let's hear Greetings. it. Greetings. Happy uh, St. Patrick's Day season to the viewers. <laughs> yes. Uh, who's your favorite news anchor growing up? Ooh. Peter Jennings. Ted Koppel. No if you weren't a newscaster, what was your uh, second career choice? Rockstar. Doctor. Uh, Not really. Paper or plastic? Paper. Ooh, plastic. I'm not very environmental. Some viewers uh, getting economic this morning. <laughs> Have you finished your taxes? No. Yes. My husband's working on them as we speak. Poor guy. What is your favorite Dow stock? I know what mine is. GE. <laughs> Mine's Disney. Yours should be too, Diana. Yeah, Disney. Right. Disney, that's what I said. They it know that you both watch The Bachelor here on ABC. Lindsay or Catherine? I'm just going to guess because I've never watched it. Oh, Lindsay. don't say that. Catherine, to be the opposite because I've never watched it either. One more. Fire away. I think it should have been Ashley. Oh, oh well.